These poems are dedicated to all those whose lives have been spent in bringing peace to this planet. Wherever you are, I bow my head. May peace be on this earth. We are all united with the thread of love. May each one of us realize the garland of life. Affirmations don't work. If you ever wondered why sometimes your affirmations don't work, consider the following. You can repeat your affirmation like a parrot, but if there is not a positive emotion involved, it won't work. You see, thoughts and emotions must fully match. In order for an affirmation to truly work, one must be in the quantum state of awareness. Only in that state will it work. You don't learn that in schools. When one enters the state of love and compassion for all, that's the time to say your affirmations. All the wise men in the past said to discover the jewel within you. You. Are magnificent. What an incredible journey we are on. Constantly focus on the power behind your breath. The entire universe lies inside of you. To manifest your affirmations takes daily practice and patience. Are you experienced? Jimi Hendrix asked this question around 50 years ago. He was talking about if he ever dropped acid. LSD was the rage of the day. Yet it was an external chemical you took to have a ride of your life. Either you had a good trip or a bad trip. You had no idea. Would side to the coin he was going to land. Mystics drop LSD without dropping anything external. They dive deep down inside and merge with an infinite ocean of love. There are no harmful side effects. As a matter of fact, the mystics realized they were having their own. They were their own. Chemists, they learn how to be present in each and every moment. By doing this, vast amounts of incredible chemicals gets released into the body. You could say they had a permanent high. They never came down from their experience. This is an infinite experience. Are you experienced?
Unless... Unless is defined as perfect happiness or great joy. I first heard this word when I was 18 years old. I was very intrigued by this word. I'd never heard about this word before. I knew this bliss existed inside of me, <laughs> yet I didn't have any perception of it. You can't have a perception of something if you have no idea it even exists. Meditation brought me in that direct contact with the awareness of bliss inside of myself. Note, it is always present in our lives. It's just a cloudy day. <coughs> the sun is always shining. Bliss is your true nature. As the sun shines constantly, bliss signs, shines constantly within. A wise man bathes in the inner light constantly. He gets a bliss tan. This golden aura surrounds him. While he is walking around in this world, he has nothing to prove. <laughs> he just smiles at adversity. Butterfly, creating a hurricane. Scientists have the following theory. Suppose a butterfly flaps its wings in New Mexico. This effect causes a hurricane in China. This may take a considerable amount of time. Yet if the butterfly didn't flap its wings, exactly the right point in time, the hurricane would never have happened. This is known as chaos theory. We have seen this in our wars. One small incident in a faraway part of the world sparks a worldwide war. Why don't we create a spark of peace inside of us? If we all did that, it may be an incredible butterfly effect take place. Mankind will see the threat tying us all together. There is no difference between you and me. Cognizance. Cognizance is defined as knowledge, awareness, or notice. <laughs> this is a very powerful word, yet it seems like it goes over humanity's head. We are so driven by our cell phones, we don't notice the signposts of God all around us. One has the ability to be aware of the entire universe. <laughs> this isn't some crazy folk tale, but how many times during your life do you pay attention to the power behind your breath? Have you ever noticed it or be 
or aware of the love that is keeping you alive? This is true knowledge. Man is looking external to find the secrets of life. The diamond of life has always existed inside of you. The wise man dives deep within the ocean of love and finds the hidden diamond. When one is cognizant of his true nature, the journey of life truly begins. Man then breaks the chains that keep us from living in the present moment. Only the wise man understands what I'm talking about. Perception. What is the highest perception for man? It is the ability to discover his true nature. The signposts are all around, yet we don't see them. We are like a fish drowning in water. We run the same tapes day by day, year by year. After a period of time, we have built a wall between our true self. We deny that we even have a true connection inside. Wise men have come to this planet for thousands of years. Yet we think only the privileged can have this experience. You were born hardwired and with the software to discover your true nature. Nobody take it away from you. It lies dormant inside of you. What are you going to do with it? You are the universe. You just don't know it. Perception, the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through the senses. Ponder over these words. They might give you a hint on how to connect to the quantum field. We need to perceive something beyond time and space. It is there, but our perception is lost. Discernment, appreciation, recognition, realization, cognizance, awareness, consciousness, knowledge, acknowledgement, grasp, understanding, comprehension. Interpretation, apprehension, impression, sense, sensation, feeling, observation, picture, notion, thought, belief, conception, idea, judgment, Estimation.
play with your chemistry kit. We are all playing with our own chemistry kits. Unfortunately, we aren't aware of it. Many people blow themselves up without realizing it. In each and every moment, thousands of chemicals are being released throughout your human body. Mankind is spinning out of control. We are drinking our own poison. We get angry at someone or political point of view. In the meantime, we drink our angry poison. We then wonder why illness arrives on our doorsteps. Wise man understands the repercussions of negative thoughts and emotions. Moment by moment, one plays this video game of life with awareness. One taps into the infinite ocean of love and compassion. This is our true home. My advice is learn how to change your own chemistry. Remember, you are the master chemist. Only you are playing with your chemistry kit. Ponder this over. This could make your life so much easier. One of the greatest games known to man is shadow boxing. Yet mankind doesn't know the rules of the game. Whenever you see something negative in a person, it is a reflection of yourself. This is a grand opportunity to learn and grow. Yet mankind sees the imperfection in others while ignoring his own imperfections. We see this all the time on social media. It's so easy to see this in others. A wise man understands that if he sees a certain imperfection in others, he can unlock the door within and pay attention. By shining light on this darkness, one can clear the obstacle. We were never taught this in school. Mankind is still living in a kindergarten state of mind. We blame others for our problems. We can't see the forest from the tree. Shadow box is one who knows the goal is to release all hidden shadows in one's life. This helps humanity to grow. Humanity must learn to take responsibility for going to darkness to light. Nobody can walk the path for you. Signposts of God all around. Learn to see your shadows. They are there for a reason. Be a mature adult. Don't blame others when the same faults exist inside of you. Solve darkness You will see a thread of love tying us all together.
unity. Unity is the state of being united or joined as a whole. As mankind, we have a long way to go to obtain that. Yet millions of people all around the world are striving to become united. This world is changing for the better. It may not seem like it. The light is beginning to shine. Scientists and mystics are both talking about the same thing. There exists a quantum field that is beyond time and space. When a person dives deep within, one experiences the unity of all life. In that state, there is no separation. When one begins to experience that on a daily basis, one is transformed. You and I are one. Humanity will totally change when we all experience that. War is obsolete. Humanity must discover the unity of all life.